In the name of Jesus, Lord, bind this strong man, adopt the spiritual orphan, touch your people so we can hear, receive your word, and bring it forth to new life for the perfecting of the saints. We thank you in advance. Amen. I am Brother Terry Kellogg. Thank you for joining us on another seven minute message. This one is kind of another special edition. It's an excerpt from our message we had this past Sunday. Um, it was entitled, I Do. But well, today I just want to focus on today's thought, carry your cross. So if you hear my Brother Kellogg, I want to give you an excerpt. So the cross before Jesus encountered it already had stigmatism. The cross meant death. It was a way of bringing one person's status down. The cross or crucify someone meant to cause them great pain, excruciating pain, and kill them publicly based on crimes they had committed. There's the Greek cross shaped like an X. There's the capital T shaped cross after St. Anthony. The crux humila, which is a lowercase t, but it's lowered to the ground. And then the crux emissa, or crux capitata, which is a little higher up off the ground. Jesus said, I'll be lifted up. But it also has a little piece above the T, so it's a lowercase T, so it has where you can put the words on the top. That's when we believe that Christ was crucified on. It meant to feature his accusation above his head. And they did this as a means so everyone passing by can see what their crime was and why they were being crucified. So instead of the Jews' request, it stated rather the fact that Jesus was king of the Jews. Well, I guess in that, he was guilty. Jesus tore down stigmatisms by healing people, speaking to the spirit inside of people that were afflicting people, casting out demons with his words, resisted Satan by the words of his father, and established teachings about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God teaches still the proof that our world is in opposition of it. Jesus tore down our ideals, that carnality and man's idea of what is right. You know, that our world is in opposition. Better to be bidden to a higher seat than to sit in a higher seat and have to move. You know, better for you, for you to pray for your enemies than to try to get even. You know, better to lose your life for Christ than to seek to save him. You know, Jesus tore down walls by not answering fools to their folly. He decided to take on Calvary or Golgotha, the place of the skull. And this is the place that's believed where little David, before he was actual, you know, King David, this is a place they believe he buried the head of Goliath the giant. And, you know, I've, I've read and studied some things where it says you take the words Goliath of Gath, that's where they get the name Golgotha or Golgotha or Calvary place of the skull and that hill actually is shaped like a skull At, in those days it looked more like a skull now it looks a little different but in those days it looked like a, a skull Jesus gave his life there setting a precedence over pagan beliefs about the cross about the hill about Goliath which one of the other mythical gods gave their life and then rose from the grave Jesus conquered death he conquered the grave he conquered the devil evils the flesh temptation ego all of them by carrying his cross so today's message carry your cross we look at the shape of the cross we and we look at the shape of things and we glorify things that we see we're human God mysteries are revealed to those who get closer to him the closer I get to God the more he reveals then the mysteries aren't mysteries anymore so I'm here preachers are here missionaries mothers those that get closer to God they gain that knowledge we're here to make known the mysteries of God mankind glorifies the object um, I studied and read up on Roman Emperor Constantine about 300 years after Christ ascended he's believed to have seen an a cross in the Sun and hearing an angel say by this you will overcome or by this you will conquer and then that night or that evening it's believed that Jesus told him in the dream, you know, listen to what that angel told you. By this, you will overcome, you know, by the cross. Early day Christians, well, prior to that, they didn't want to use, they denied using the cross as a symbol. But after this, he conquered, you know, battles, things that he did based off of that cross that he had. And that image has now become the image of Christianity. I believe over the years, you know, it's lost its true meaning. You know, we think that wearing a cross makes you Christian. You know, tattooing a cross on your skin doesn't make you Christian. You know, having pictures in your home of crosses doesn't make you a Christian. The power isn't in the cross, is what I'm saying. It's what Jesus did. Jesus went down the Via Doloroso, the way of suffering. That is how he conquered. He went down the way of suffering. 
Luke, John, Mark, Matthew, they all record Jesus' doctrine regarding the kingdom of God. The way to conquer is through suffering. The way to reign is to serve. The way to the top is on your knees. To live spiritually, you have to die physically. Jesus solidified this teaching by being first partaker. He is the head of the body, the church. Like a husband is head over the body, over the wife. Like recon goes in before the troops. Jesus went first, proving that we can say no to temptation. Proving that we can be quiet in the face of accusations. We can speak to demons as well as make them leave. We can speak with other tongues. We can and we will reign. St. Anthony is quoted for stating the fact that faith is believing what you do not see. And the reward of faith is seeing what you believe. We're admonished by, at Philippians by Superintendent Duckworth. He said, say it until you see it. This is faith. See, down here on earth, we say it. We rejoice being kingdom minded now, knowing we already have what we asked for. The culmination is a life with a peaceful mind, confident not in what we see, but abundant life, what we believe. God, I am Jehovah, Allah, Adonai, Yahweh, Elohim, the creator, the Holy One of Israel, Abba, our Father. He has so much value in us. Out of all creation who obeys autonomously and voluntarily, he takes great pleasure in his children who choose him. The glory is in choosing. Remember the doctrine of choosing. I didn't write the scripture, but Luke recorded Jesus having said, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elder and chief priests and scribes and be slain and then raised the third day. He also said, and if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow after me. 62nd verse, Jesus said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Consider Light's wife. Consider Jonah's time in the whale's belly. You know, Luke goes on in 14th chapter 27th verse. He says, whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Disciple, student, follower. Religions separate based on minuscule details and attempt to prove who has superior knowledge, more sound beliefs. Jesus died on a stake rather than a cross. He was dead two days. He rose the third day, baptized in Jesus' name or the Son or the Father of the Holy Ghost. We separate because some churches, religions, denominations use of the cross. It's idolizing something, going against God's commandments. Get the sound part of Jesus' message. I gave my life for you. No other pagan belief, no other religion highlights in that the creator dwells within the follower other than faith in Jesus and being disciple, being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Not a religion, a relationship, a way of suffering. Talk about me, curse me, knock me down because I pattern my life after Christ. I, I may lose many on this side, but I will reign with him on the other side. Who will carry their cross with me? Would you believe? Will you count up the cost? Carry your life of suffering daily? Reign with me, with other believers and disciples of Jesus Christ? Father, in the name of Jesus, save us from our sins and our afflictions and all the things of this world that will cause us to not pick up our cross, our way of suffering, belief in you, and holding on to that and walking through this life. Help us to be a student and a follower of you and help us to go forth with boldness and make more disciples of Jesus Christ. We thank you right now for this time in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. R, read your Bible. A, assemble with other believers. G, Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for humoring Brother Kellogg. Please share with somebody. Selah.